Good morning. This is Lisa Vien, April 4th, 2020, and I am doing Your Best Life with Lisa right in my uh, dining room. And I'm very excited today because I have an incredibly special guest with me today. Her name is Sharon Leah. And guess what? She was supposed to come to the studio to actually do my show uh, out of Temple TV, but I promise you we will have you there as soon as we are back out into the studio. But you know what? I am just so excited because, first of all, she is a Grammy-considered artist. She's absolutely beautiful, as you can see from the screen. I, she's been featured in Billboard magazine. I mean, honestly, Sharon, you're like, you are a... I'm like I'm so excited that I have you on my as a guest today. So, but I before we start, you know, I always do a lot of research before I talk with any of my guests. And this piece on your website just spoke to my heart so much. So, if everybody would just bear with me for a minute, I'm going to read it, and then we're going to hear from you. And I think you're going to share some of your song with us today as well. But this is what is on this woman's website. And I think that God put us together for a reason, my friends. It said, I believe that a significant number of us struggle with feeling that we don't matter or we can't find our purpose. And we cycle between giving up and fighting. Wow. Our world relies on a matrix, a matrix of each one of our contributions. So I pose this hypothesis. If we all gave up at the same exact moment, it would cause a worldwide catastrophe. This illustrates how important each one of us is. Honestly, I just got the chills. We need to know that every single one of us contributes to the sum of us. All right, let's just take a moment. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I know I'm like oh my I have the chills all over it and it's so true Sharon I love you and I just this is like our third conversation and wow so tell us Sharon your song and, and where where did you got this inspiration and the song is amazing I've listened to it now probably three or four times and it's just amazing well first of all thank you for having me on on your show and um I appreciate you very much. Um, yeah, just you reading that back to me, you know, brought back some amazing feelings because that really does succinctly define uh, how, how this, how I feel, I guess, you know. Um, how did I come up with this whole thing? Basically, um, I was, and I was going through a uh, a health challenge. Let's just we'll just keep it at that. Mm -hmm. And it was it was pretty critical. And uh, I di I didn't know whether or not I was gonna you know be okay. And at the same time, somebody that I love was battling an addiction. And I was thinking to myself, oh, my God, if if you could just if I could just shake you, and get you out of this, and make you realize that if you could just get past this there's so much you could become, you know? And it, and then I got angry because I was like, and damn it, you know, um, what happens if you depend on me and then, um, and I, and I stumble, I need you and you need me. And it just got me to thinking like, well, what happened if everybody just gave up, you know? Cause there are times when, and this isn't the only time in life I've ever felt like giving up, but, what if, you know, all of us, we all struggle at times in our lives. I truly believe that. I don't believe anybody gets by unscathed. If it's, if anything, it's a very small fraction. Yeah, <laughs> and somebody, go ahead, I'm sorry. And some people's stories are bigger and uh, more uh, tragic or having more challenges, but other people's stories may have different kinds of challenges, you know? And, uh, and then I was on, a gurney at my doctor's office and I started writing the song. I was like, what would it mean if we all gave the world our everything? It would be a symphony. It would be like the heavens opening up and hearing like the angels singing. But what would happen if we gave up? It would be a tragedy. It would be a tragedy. 
And it's like my call to people to let them know. And, you know, no matter what you're going through, whether it's a, a chemical thing that's going on that you can't control, it's hard when your body is physically in control of your emotions. And then there's also a choice. People also have a choice. So it's kind of like multifaceted, but it just came to me. I was like, what would happen if we just all realized what we mean to the people around us? And then in a bigger picture, how that, you know, she tells two friends, she tells two friends type of deal, you know, like how it really is. We are all part of a matrix of, of energy and light. You know, uh, I am a little rose colored glasses type person. I do believe that there's a lot of goodness in the world. And I just want to encourage people to just realize no matter what, that you matter. We all have something to contribute. And so. amen. I think, I hope whoever's, I hope whoever's listening to this will, will hear it again and again and again, because I think it's, you know, it's funny. I don't know if you ever had this experience. I think people think that life is supposed to be easy. Like, right. <laughs> like you said it best. We all have, we all have some adversity to come to overcome. And I always say that if somebody says that they have absolutely no adversity to overcome in their whole life, they're lying. That's an adversity in and of itself. <laughs> Cause now you're in denial. I'm just right. saying. <laughs> you know what? Let's face it. Life is not, life is uncomfortable, but we don't talk about it. People don't talk about exactly how uncomfortable life is. I think what makes you and me a little special is you sing about it. Yes. <laughs> you write about it. I yes. talk about it all the time. I'm kind of yes. like, my, my, my life is an open book and here you go because life is uncomfortable and I want people to, to know that message. And, and I'm like you too. I have always been told rose colored glasses. So I think that the sum of us is an, is an important message today more than ever before. Um, I know that we can't get your song right now, right? It's, but yeah. I, when, when can people download it? Um, we are, of course, we're in the middle of, uh, of a, a pandemic right now, which has, oh, really? uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> is that okay? Is that all right if I said that? Um, it actually is, uh, it, well, the song should be available in about a month. But uh, if, if I can tell you this, um, we are experiencing some challenges because we are getting singers to uh, contribute their voices. And what's amazing is, as, as you might know, this song's been in progress since last year. Wow. I did not yeah. know that. Yeah. So and I did, I did, I did an interview in, uh, in November. Okay with Thrive, uh, Thrive Magazine, Thrive Global Magazine. So anyway, we are nor nearing the end. I'm getting the vocalists together, but here we are. None of them can get to their studios. So we are, I have some creative things that we're working on um, to make a video for the song and get these people into a quiet space in their house. I have a little technical thing I told them how to do. So if they don't have a studio, I still want their voices. And what's truly amazing is the people that are part of this are coming together. They are pretty much against all odds in their houses trying to get this done. Um, and we are being the example of adversity and coming together, which is what this song's about. It's kind of ironic and crazy, to be honest, but hopefully we can get it all finished and out in less than a month. So I'm hoping today is April 4th. I'm hoping by maybe two weeks to, to four, four weeks, we should be good. Well, what we'll do is when the song's good and people can download it, we'll come back on again and we'll let everybody know. We'll do another Zoom call. How's that? I would um, love that. I just want to hang out and talk to you all day. I think it's interesting that you started by saying that you wrote this song while on a gurney. I don't really, you don't have to share why you were on a gurney, but yeah. I find it fascinating that, you know, yes, and it, it, we are going through a pandemic right now and through adversity is our greatest teacher. So you're on a gurney flat on your back and, 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 and you were inspired to write yeah. a song. Pretty amazing yeah. if you think about it, right? 
well, I mean, it wasn't a gurney. It was a doctor's table, but I don't know oh. how to, how to, I, it wasn't like a emergency room gurney where I was, I just don't know the right word. So I just want to let your viewers know it was a doctor's table, but I was lying down on it. waiting. You were still in a doctor's office and you got inspiration. Yes. So yes. I'm like, what would it mean if we unleashed? And I'm like, I have it on my phone and I'm singing into my phone and I don't know. It just, it just came to me, Lisa. It just, it was like an aha moment and I've had a few of them falling. Yeah. Well, also there's, I've had a lot of, uh, adversity in my life. I just thought I was done with adversity. And then I had this other thing that just happened two years ago, which knocked me for a loop. And I'm like, when is he going to be done with me or whatever? <laughs> that and, uh, me at you, but I do that all the time. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I had so much adversity in my life, you know, I'm good. You met your fill, your quota, you know. I guess we think it's time we're done. Like we, you know, we should get a pass, but I don't know. I always say God gives us what he thinks that we need, not what we want. And every Well, time you have a purpose. Your purpose is sharing this goodness. That's what you do. So your adversity, if I may be so bold to to say this, is... You can say whatever. This is, <laughs> this is your... As long as you don't comment about my hair, you can say whatever. Go ahead. <laughs> This, this is your gift to the world. That's what I'm saying. Every single one of us contributes to the sum of us. So you might not be falling down today, but someone next to you might be. So you lift them up. You know, maybe you'll fall tomorrow and someone will lift you up. This is the cycle of life. And that is why it is so important for us to all realize how much we matter. Because what if you fell and I had already given up a week ago? And I could have held out my hand to you, but I wasn't there because I gave up. It makes me mad, really. It makes me <laughs> angry. Well, so, you know, I, I, I'm a big believer in that we, we, we are, I believe exactly what you say. We are all interconnected. Um, you and I have a few mutual friends that I think have brought us together, but our paths were designed and meant for us to, to, to you know, cross because my energy, I was always had a very po optimistic, positive energy, but I uh, went through so much. By me going through all that adversity, which please God, I hope I'm done for a little while, but for me going through all that adversity, it made me realize that this is my calling. This is my, I'm a messenger here to help create, to, God wants me to share my positivity. God wants okay. me to share my optimism with, with everybody that I touch in some capacity i was at the supermarket today and i was really anxious about going to the supermarket it's not like it used to be right and so i had my mask on i made a, a homemade mask and i had my gloves and people were walking past me six feet away and i kept saying good morning good morning and i thought am i the only one walking around shop right and saying good morning but you know what that's what we do that's what my job is to do that's our job. and you know that's an example of of the sum of us to me i mean well because with our topic today is somewhat the sum of us um that is my hope is that that this becomes something indelible like we are the world you know how that mm -hmm. was an indelible positive mark on the world we need another one of those really and i want i want this to be that because we don't know the ripple effect of our kindness or our thoughtfulness on another person because a lot of people don't have that gratitude in, you know, in spite of all of what we go through, if you can find gratefulness and gratitude and it's hard, but sometimes it's just part of who you are and it's part of who you need to develop, you know, that part in you, but you just don't know if that smile that you gave to someone, you, you don't know the butterfly effect of that. And that is my hope for this song. Well, that is my Will you do me a favor and sing some of it or play some of it? I would love to hear it or share it with um, people. I could. I wasn't prepared for that, but I can. I'm going to be all nervous right now. Uh, I do have the song up you on my... Just, yeah, you could just play it. You don't have to sing it. I'd love I, to... I do have... I haven't heard it. I will. Let me, let me play it. Let me see if you hear this. Ready? Okay. Yeah, I heard it. That's fine. Is that too loud? 
Comes like you know, uh, like we are the world when it becomes like that. I you promise me you'll really still come back on my show because you might be like, No, nah, I'm too busy. <laughs> it's you know, it's funny, Lisa. I have to tell you, um, I, I don't know what it is, but I have always appreciated anyone who was there for me when I had nothing, and I am extremely deeply loyal and, and appreciative and fully gra grateful. So you'll remember me when you're really like a-, a, a So I got you covered. <laughs> you got me covered again. I keep saying, you know, my friends always, my friends and I always joke, they're like, you know, one day when you're as big as Oprah. Like, well, I was you're... just gonna say, you, you've got to make me the same promise too. Well, from your lips to God's ears, you know what? We'll take each other together because we are the sum of us. Before I let you go, because I've been taking up a lot of your time, I just also want to talk briefly about because I know that you have a, uh, I, I know that you have a heart just like I do. It's probably like you know, if you have two dollars, you're going to give away fifty, and then you'll go in debt for a while. But yeah, big, that's what big I hearts, do. <laughs> big hearts, good souls. Um, but I know that you have a foundation, correct? Ladies that rock for a cause. So do you want to share it with us? Yeah, ladies who rock, ladies who rock for a cause. Um, it is a organization that I put together after, well, during my battle with cancer, um, and the idea was to bring the unifying, again, unity. Here we go, but the unifying power of music mm -hmm. to help people in need. Uh, and uh, because of what happened to me two years ago, I did not have a music festival this year. I had one right before that, though, last year. Uh, and you know, I had to, uh, my website went to the wayside cause I was the one updating it and kind of a lot of things when you're at the center of something and then you are fighting for something in your life, other stuff has to take a back seat. But the good news is I have a core group of people who just want to be part of this. Um, and they're like, we have got to have a music festival for 2021 and I'm willing to help you. Um, you know, if I could give a shout out to my friend Darren and there's Rick and Howie and Cindy and you can give a shout out to whoever oh, you want. I mean, I could sit here and uh, there and there are behind the scenes people helping. They're angels. I'm telling you, it's slated in the stars. But anyway, so I am hoping that we get it uh, up and running. The website is a work in progress. It is up and running. So ladies okay. who rock for cause dot org. Uh, and 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 how do people reach you, speaking of websites, before we go? Yes. I'm sorry. Um, that's okay. SharonLeahBand.com. Uh, and we're on Sharon Leah Band on Spotify. You can listen to all my back catalog, uh, Instagram, Facebook, all of that. It's all Sharon Leah Band. You can't miss it. Amazon, all that good stuff. But uh, so hopefully we'll have an event in 2021. We've got some new branding coming, and we're going to have – a, it's going to be like a rebirth and uh it's weird because me and the universe because right now our world is uh locked down and we're all going to have a rebirth i was already on my trajectory for a rebirth but um or i'm hoping and praying for one it's still it's still a journey and i'm not out of the woods yet but i'm working on it hey so, so listen yeah. I'm going to end here, but will you make me a promise that you're going to come back on as soon as the song is um, maybe, you know, you say a couple weeks and I I'm going to be optimistic here, but I still think that in a couple weeks I'll still be in my house and you'll still be in your house. So um, let's um, talk between now and then. I feel like you're a kindred spirit of mine. It was great that you took time um, from your busy day to share 
Thank you. So it's hashtag the sum of us. Is that the movement? Okay, hashtag yep. the sum of us. I'm going to share it's this. S S S U M. S U M. Yep. yep. So here's what I'm going to do. I was going to wait and do like, <laughs> this is so Lisa BN. I was going to wait. I was because I'm doing a bunch of shows today and tomorrow, and I was going to post each one like every day. But if it's okay with you, I'd like to just get it out today because it's so awesome, and I want people to know how important I that, the total I would love that. together is. Well, thank I would love you, that. and we thank will you. we will talk to you soon. Okay, have a great okay. day. Thank you, Lisa. It was lovely talking to you. Have a good one as well. Be safe. You too. Stay safe and healthy. Right. Thank you. Bye.